ASEAN Mining Company looks set to provide a much-needed boost to the economy of the West Coast. A major investment officially opened today, creating more than 150 jobs as the minerals boom continues. Zian Zinc sits on almost 7 million tonnes of ore resources. The majority of its silver, lead and zinc cut from this open pit at its Comstock mine. Identity David Foster tried his best to open the new plant. Third time lucky and the mine was christened. Over the past couple of months we've stepped it up from a legacy operation into something that we're actually going to be producing ore out of as we speak. Cashed up with 25 million in capital after becoming publicly listed this year, it's now commissioned a gravity separation plant to produce a pre-concentrate product. Next year a flotation plant will also be added, creating a high grade product ready to be used for the galvanising steel industry in China. There is a, um, a decreasing supply around the world and, and what you're seeing is that as much as uh, the mines can, as quickly as the mines can come on stream, that, that demand, uh, that supply is being uh, taken up. The next step for Zian Zinc, personnel and infrastructure. The company looking at staff housing and more efficient ways to get the product to Burnie. The question of downgrading Rosebury's hospital resources also concerning to management. If there was to be, for example, a mine accident, uh, you'd want to make sure that there's sufficient services within the area to be able to, to cater for that and to deal with any emergency. The heavy mineralised West Coast now set to be rejuvenated by big business, providing a much needed boost to towns like Zian. In just four years, the company will hope to quadruple its output and will look locally to employ up to 150 people for its new production. It brings us kids back to the schools here, brings uh, people back to the town and the whole Tasmania will benefit. Brooke Bowman, Southern Cross News.